so we're going to do an unboxing of these. So here's what you get. Looks like you get a bag of swag. Um, we'll go through that here in a second. Ooh, a bunch of stickers. That's cool. Get your, oh, they give you a little bit of lube there for your bushings. That's nice. So there's the bushings, there's the inserts. Uh -huh. One of the upper control rooms. tied here so it's not rattling around. I like the color. I like the graphics. Those look like they'll hold up. Very nice. Let's see what else we got in here. So it looks like we've got a hardware kit, uh, new bolts. We'll look at those a little closer here in a second. And there's the second uh, you see it. So, all right, I'm going to pack these back up for a second and we'll take a look at that bag. So, here's the first thing you get a um, couple zip ties. I'm assuming this is for your brake line. Um, they give you a card with information. Customer service has been fantastic. I've contacted them twice, they got back to me immediately. Uh, the second time I contacted them, it was night because I was just kind of thinking, um, you know, what's the best, what's the best lube for the uh, for the uniball, and what's you know what do you use with the bushings? They got back to me right away. Sweet sticker. Put those over there with the other stickers. Looks like more stickers. Ah, they must know I love stickers. All kinds of stuff. Look at this. Just about every color you'd want. Another sticker. Camp Chaos. That's awesome. Cool stickers. And it looks like a booklet. you a little bit about the company. Shows you the product. I know these are very popular amongst the Toyota crowd, um, which didn't really deter me. Um, you know, they make a product for the Ram. Looks like they've, they're, it's a quality product. It's been around for a while. Um, I like the idea that it's steel, powder coated, made in the U.S. I like the Uniball. I like the fact that the Uniball is stainless steel. Um, I live in the Midwest, so you know that was a consideration for me. Um, apparently, they weren't always stainless, and they would pit, um, but. Stainless steel uniball, that's the way to go. Apparently the uniball joint is one of the more tough, you know, one of the more sturdy joints you can get. Perhaps the sturdiest joint you can get. So I was definitely going for that as well. Um, so it looks like they got a spot for your brake line or your ABS sensor. It looks like, you know, these are the spots for the bushings. There's some Zerks that we're going to insert. Um, 
to be able to lube the bushings. I've heard every oil change. And yeah, I'm excited about getting these on. Keep, keep the phone sure it'll come. Do one last look at the stock arms. So as you can probably see, I'm using a good bit of this super lube, as they suggest. Um, I put it on the outside as well as the inside of these um, bushings. I'm going to use quite a bit here. I, I might as well um, put them in and while I have it. They send you a little tube. Um, I've got a big tube, so I'm not going to be shy with it. Um, to get this metal insert in, I've just been using the, my friend the mallet just to persuade them in a little bit. They go in pretty, pretty easy, but uh, and as you can see, I've got quite a bit of that lube stuff on here, but like I said, um, I'd probably rather air side of excess and it's probably not going to hurt it while it's not under a load yet so I'm just putting it in there. Next we are going to put in the Zerps. Uh, they give you a couple extra in case you, I don't know, mess one up. So they go in the holes here underneath. They say if there's uh, powder coating buildup, you can chase the threads but we're going to see. We're just going to try to put them in and Okay, so the uh, the nut on here is about three eighths. So let's see if we can get it in. And I am just because I'm crazy. I'm gonna put a little plumber's tape on these threads. Nothing says you have to, but. That's all I'm doing. Okay. So now you've got your polys in, your grease fittings happening, your metal bushing, or yeah, in the middle. And you should be ready to put them on. So this has become something of a theme in my videos. I like to see how much stuff weighs. My theory is literally nothing. I don't know. I can't get it to register anything. They weigh 7.4 pounds. So.
Okay, so we'll look in this bag here. Uh, swag bag of hardware. So the first thing I notice is this is, you know, this is grade eight. Um, let me tell you how it goes together here. Very strong uh, ball joints. So stick around and we'll throw them on. Gotta love my mallet. As you can see, that fits all together pretty nicely. Um, the way I understand it, you put the washer, the larger washer, under, along with the nut. Now, I don't know, I'm probably gonna do it a little bit of lock on that just because I don't know why not Oop, that's way more than a little bit it's this gel I gotta mix up okay that's probably gonna be way too much but oh well Um, okay. You can see we're going to have to tighten it holding the top, so just bear with me here. Okay, just to give you an idea of the size of this stuff, the top of the bolt is, uh, it's grade 8, remember, 13 sixteenths. This bad boy on the bottom, that's the size of your lugs. That's a 7 eighths. So we're going to get them together. bottom as well just for giggles yep 110 now the only thing that's kind of funky is where this ABS line is I'd like it to be right here but it's all the way up here. So I don't know. I think I'm going to put a piece of loom on this just to ensure, because I don't think this thing moves, just to ensure that it doesn't get through that wire. Yeah, I can show you here with my phone. So again, just a little bit of loom in there. Then I'm just going to zip tie it. The way they say. 
So do you want to hear something funny? I've been fighting that flashlight all night. I've got lights in my wheel wells. I just never turn them on. So there you go. We're going to go ahead and torque up these final bolts. The specs I have been able to find is about 130 foot pounds. So we are going to stick with that and we're going to torque them down. See me do is left handed. Mm. Aha, one hand. What's up? That was it if it was slipping off. There we go. All right. Much easier right in. Everything's torqued to spec. Um, I'm going to give you one last look. Maybe someday I'll make a video about my sweet rock lights. Maybe you guys won't make fun of me. So. So I want to go ahead and wrap this video, um, putting in the Total Chaos upper control arms. I guess what swayed me with these, it's the only stainless uniball, and I'm in the Midwest, so, you know, I'm dealing with road grime and that kind of crap. Um, plus, the, you know, the product's kind of sweet, you know, Total Chaos. The things are nice and heavy steel powder coated, you know, what's not to like about them. So, Sitting pretty with these total chaos. Um, rocking the uh, all black Dodge Ram shirt. If you've got a minute, take a look at uh, the guys at Wayne County Life. Uh, Life spelled L-Y-F-E uh, up there in Wayne County, Michigan. Um, they got some really hilarious content. Uh, if you drive an all black Dodge Ram, you have to watch their video called All Black Dodge Ram. So hilarious stuff. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Saturday night. Got these bad boys in. Excited to uh, drive them, see how they are. Venom Rebel 2020, new up control arms in the books. If you like the content, please subscribe, please like, please drop me a comment. Uh, all you guys out there who uh, have subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it. So, 